Well, as Steve mentioned, April showers bring May flowers. So folks at a Bridgeport decorative garden and gallery were not complaining at all about today's weather. And News 12 Connecticut Suzanne Goldklang shows us even on a gloomy day, there's plenty of eye candy. Daffodils do their best to send sunny vibes. Everything starts growing, so everything is just <sighs> sucking it up. They don't complain about rain. The flowers are saying, thank you very much for the rain. We'll be looking good on the next sunny day. So even on a gloomy Wednesday, color blends spring garden and house merits a meander. Inside the 1906 Colonial Revival Mansion, art mirrors the outdoors. I feel that that's something that inspires artists when they see life coming from the ground and just blossoming. A bouquet lights up, sculptures swirl, stained glass glows. I could look at this mobile all day. The hard part is not touching it. Just um, bright and colorful and very floral. The exhibit re-emerging like shoots after the winter. The show has been closed during the pandemic for the last two years, so this is the grand reopening. Back outside, if you like your flowers with a shot of sunshine. Na -na -na -na. Split corona. There's always tomorrow. And it turns literally from an ugly duck into this beautiful, uh, beautiful thing. Here's something new blooms every day. You're part of the big uprising, the spring uprising. In Bridgeport, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12, Connecticut. Now, Color Blends will be open until May 8th and is located on Clinton Avenue in Bridgeport. It was created by the Color Blends Bulb Company, which is located in the city as well.